What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Math Guy. Today we're going to look at how to solve fraction word problems using a tactic called Rucksack. So let's waste no time, let's go. Okay, so what is Rucksack first of all? Well, Rucksack stands for... Well, Rucksack is made of an R, a U, C, S, A and C. And what it stands for is a little acronym to help us understand how to solve word problems. First, we're going to read then we're going to underline, then we're going to choose, which means we're going to choose which operation to help us solve the question. Then we're going to solve, then we'll answer, and then check our work. So let's do that with this question and tick them off as we go. So first of all, let's read our question. Jenny has two quarters of a pie, and Mark has one quarter of another pie. How much pie do they have all together? So, we just read it, let's give ourselves a tick. Whoa, 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 let me just stop you there. Have you thought about subscribing to this channel? We're gonna have daily videos that are gonna help you with everything you need to know about maths. So if you're not a subscriber, click that subscribe button and join our little family. Back to the video. Now it says underline. Well, what do we need to underline? We want to underline the key information that's going to help us answer this question. So, I'm going to underline the two fractions. They're going to be really important, aren't they? Two quarters and one quarter. But I don't think that's everything, because if I have two quarters and I have one quarter, how do I know what to do with them? What do I put in the middle here? Well, I can see a key word here that's going to help me. It says all together. If I have three apples over here, and two apples over here, and I want to know how many I have all together, I'm going to have to add them together. So guess what? That's what we're going to have to do with our question here. So my operation is addition. So I've underlined, and I've chosen my operation. It's going to be addition. Now my next one says solve. Well, how do I solve two quarters add one quarter? Well, I could draw it, and I could draw a chocolate bar over here that has two quarters colored in one two and I could draw another chocolate bar underneath with one quarter just like that so how many quarters do I have all together I can see I have one two three quarters all together if you're not too sure about how to add and subtract fractions like that Go back to another video on this channel to help you with that, where it specifically shows you how to add and subtract fractions. You can also find it at themathshelter.com. So I've solved my question and I got my answer and I'm now ready to check. Two quarters, so I know I'm working in quarters. Is my denominator in quarters? Yes, it is, good check. Add one quarter equals three quarters. So I created my bar model up here. I split it into four, into quarters. I got two, and I got another one, which gave me three quarters. Awesome. And look how helpful Rucksack was to help me solve that. Your turn then, have a go at answering this question. And I would like you to use Rucksack too to help you solve this. Write Rucksack, write what each of the letters stand for, and then see if you can tick them off as you solve this problem. I'll read it for you to start you off. Alice has four fifths of a bar of soap. She uses one fifth. How much does she have left? Good luck, press pause on the video now. Put your answer in the comments section. Let's look at what to remember when solving word problems. Always use Rucksack. Rucksack is really helpful to remind you to do all the individual parts. Write your word problem into a number sentence, just like we did here. And then remember, we must always check your work to avoid making any small mistakes. And there you go. That is how to solve word problems using Rucksack. Hopefully this video has been helpful for you. If it was, head on over to themathshelter.com to find many more videos just like this. And they're in sequence so you understand what's going to come next. But for now, guys, see you in another video. Peace out.